Jeremy Bash is an NBC News security analyst who served as chief of staff at both the CIA and Defense Department. NBC News political analyst Elise Jordan was the communications director for the National Security Council during George W. Bush's administration. Good morning to Good both morning. of you. Good morning, Matthew. That answer yeah. from Stephen Miller to Chuck on the fate or confidence in Michael Flynn, did it sound like a bit of a straight arm to that you? That was not a robust defense. If I were Mike Flynn right now, I'd be very worried about my standing at the White House with let's, President Trump. Let's talk about why, Jeremy. I mean, if he had this conversation with the Russian ambassador prior to the inauguration, and if they spoke about those newly imposed sanctions from the Obama administration, how serious a, fl uh, a mistake was that? Well, talking to the Russian ambassador may not be that serious. The question is, why did they try to conceal it? And perhaps the reason is because the conversation happened on December 29th, the very day that the Obama administration imposed those sanctions. So clearly he was signaling to the Russians, hey, when we come into office, we're going to do things differently. That's not something I think that the tr incoming Trump administration now wants to acknowledge. And there's another piece of all of this here. Uh, at least he also misled the vice president. I mean, he went out there and said that no sanctions, uh, or they didn't discuss those sanctions. So there's a serious credibility issue here. Well, that's the huge issue. I think more so than the communications with the Russian ambassador, it's does Vice President Mike Pence, who staked his own integrity on what General Flynn told him, does he have confidence in the national security advisor? So I think that internally within the White House, this is going to be a battle pitting Mike Flynn up against the vice president. Given what we know now, both of you real quickly, can Mike Flynn survive as national security advisor? I, I think 24 days in, he has become the story and you've got North Korea trying to you know, launch missile tests. No, I think no way. Yeah, I think it's hard. Look, the national security crises are piling up. We've had a missile launch from North Korea, from Iran, a counterterrorism raid in Yemen that's gone poorly. We've had a travel ban that's been rolled out in a botched fashion. I think they need the A team there, and I'm not sure they have it. Let's go back to North Korea. We talked about just the days yep. before the inauguration. You said new presidents, new administrations always get tested, whether from a terror group or a foreign adversary. It seems North Korea wants to test this president in the form of a missile. How serious is it? Well, it's a serious matter because they launched it into the Sea of Japan towards our ally, Japan. Now, but the president, when he made his statement Saturday night, I think was kind of too short. He kept it to only 125 characters. He actually could have been more expansive. And he should have said, I think, that we should defend our ally South Korea, where we have 28,000 troops, and that would condemn these missile launches. All right, really quickly, we have a tweet here from President Trump. Take a look at this. He tweeted, North Korea, this was last month, North Korea just stated that it is in the final stages of developing a nuclear weapon capable of reaching parts of the U.S. It won't happen. He drew a line in the sand. Did this missile launch by North Korea, did it cross that line? Well, it's interesting because he drew the line, and then when he spoke in his statement, he actually was quite hesitant and reticent to stake out a line in the sand again. But that said, I think that he, that was the smart approach, actually, because this is a provocation by the North Koreans. The new administration has to get their hands around the challenge. They have to grapple with it. I don't think that a hasty response is the necessary response. Yeah, the White House created a statement for the president, but he didn't deliver it. He just said, I'm standing by Japan. I think he should have gone further. All right, All right. Jeremy, Elise, thank Thanks. you both very much. Well, hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.